Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets today looking at another beer that was given to me by uh, my little taste or our little tasting group Lilla Tascanet for the Master of Puppets 5th anniversary and um, this is a beer by Prairie and this is the Prairie Artisan Ales Prairie Vous Francais very random label on there <laughs> but kind of cool like a girl flying an eagle <laughs> over a little city. It's a 4% farmhouse ale conditioned with Brettanomyces brusilensis and they use both wheat, oat, uh, regular barley malt, oat wheat in, in there for uh, the malt bone, backbone and then they use sans hops. So it's a tribute, it says, to like light, elegant uh, farmhouse ales. So a light, refreshing beer. I mean, 4% it's nice. Especially after, I just had some. This should be a nice refresher after that. But it's a really nice, uh, hazy, yellow color really light in color when we poured it first it was just like very clear until we got the yeast in there it kind of looked like almost pills or something like that but real nice looking some white head on there let's check out the aroma oh yeah that smells really refreshing uh tartness slight funkiness a green apple skin there's a little bit of like funky barnyardy thing going on definitely like that bread and character like there's a crisp wheatiness to it as well Almost like a light Pilsner malt, like it smells super refreshing. Spicy, like grassy as well, like spicy sauce. Huh. Yeah, this smells like the perfect summer refresher. Uh, smells really good. So yeah, let's give the Prairie Vous Francais a taste. Cheers. <laughs> That's a slugger. <laughs> That is like a light version of something like Orbel. That is like Session Orbel type beer. Well, I guess I could Session Orbel as well. I guess this might be how Petit Orbel is? I don't know. That, I think Orbel, regular Orbel has more malt flavor, but really nice. Like, refreshing, tart, crisp. Um, you get some silkiness to it from the oats and a hint of sweetness, like on the tip of your tongue. You get the funky barnyardy hay type quality, some spicy notes from the sauce, grassy hops. Hops. I could easily drink a few bottles of this during the summer. Mmm. Perfect palate cleanser after such a big imperial stout. You get a nice creaminess again from the oats, and then again those kind of grassy. Uh, spicy hops, a little bit of an apple, green apple skin, maybe a slight from the funk, a slight like the Brennamyces pusillensis, maybe a slight uh, stone fruit character. Uh, but other than that, this is just like a very simple, not super complex, I mean 4% low ABD, very sessionable farmhouse ale, uh, which is really nice. It's nice to get something this flavorful and on such a low ABD once in a while. Yeah, this is really nice. Really, Prairie is really doing well with all of their stuff really. Mm. So rating wise for the Prairie Buffon Say, really dig this. It's almost like a little brother to like or a lighter uh, type of uh, uh, Orval almost or something like that. Uh, really nice and drinkable. Uh, I'm gonna go the heck 92. I actually really dig this. This is so refreshing. This is really what I wanted right now. Um, yeah, really nice, refreshing, easy-going beer. Not mind-blowing, but just perfect for what it is. And it says on the back, a elegant, refreshing, light farmhouse ale. And then just like, you know, super refreshing and easy to drink. I really dig it. So yeah, great stuff, guys. That does it for the review of the Prairie Buffon Say. Definitely let me know what you think of this brew if you've had it, guys. I think it's really damn refreshing and easy drinking stuff. I uh, really dig it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I want to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer video.